Hey everybody, Tim here. Um, you might notice that I'm standing really close to the camera and there's a big ring around my eyes. It's because I got one of those ring lights. So it's really cool. Um, it's also really bright. So this room looks really dark right now. So I'm going to back up. You also might have noticed that I'm in my basement. Because I'm trapped in my home. Right now, Georgia is on lockdown. As it should be. That being said, um, this will be the setting for a lot of things to come. And probably this flannel too, because this basement is cold and I will rewear a shirt till it falls apart. So all that being said, I just want to take a moment and talk to you guys because even though we have a very small community, we still have a community here. And with everything going on as scary as everything's been, I think it's important to reach out and talk to each other. And basically, just, if we can, calm each other down and give words of encouragement. I'm not saying lie to each other because this thing is serious and it's going to take time to work itself out. But at the very same time, we do need to acknowledge that this will end eventually. We're not going to be trapped in our homes forever. We all don't need to rush off to the grocery store and buy up every pack of toilet paper you can find. This is crazy, like... Whenever it snows or whenever like something like that happens here in Georgia, since we're not really equipped for the snow, we always panic and we run to the store and we buy up all the eggs, we buy up all the bread, and you know we buy up cereal and things of that nature and milk. Milk's the other big one. I've never seen people rush to get toilet paper. It's insane. And it's funny too, because you would think the thing that you would get the most of is canned foods. Like, first off, don't panic and get the most of anything because it's stupid and you don't have to because the grocery stores are still there and they're still operating and they will continue to operate. But if you're going to panic and be an idiot, why not load up on stuff like canned foods, bottled water, things like that, non-perishable things that will last. But no, there are people with garage fulls of toilet paper because apparently during the apocalypse you plan to crap a lot and let me tell you the apocalypse is the only time you can crap in your pants and it's okay not that I've done that yet but if shit hits the fan I'm down for that all right so enough of the silliness I, I just want to say things are gonna be okay um, it'll pass. It might take a month, it might take two months, but eventually things are going to open back up. People are going to be out and about doing stuff again. Until then, hunker down if you can. That being said, I've also seen a lot of people judging people who still have to go out to work. First off, not everybody has the money to hunker down. Not everybody has a job like my wife and I do to where you can work from home. So for some people, this is horrible. For some people, they have to go out to continue to work because they have kids, they have families, they have rent, they have a car. And you know what? I've been a collections agent for years, so let me just go ahead and fill you in. The things that you need to worry about most in a crisis is rent, your car, your family, your insurance. And when you can't pay those things, what do you do? Because if you lose your home, if you, where are you going to hunker down at? If you lose your car, when everything loosens up again, how are you going to get to work? Or how are you going to find a job if that job is no longer there? So loosen up on some of these people because you got to survive. But if you can, if you can work from home or if you just have the money to where you can stay home for a lot of time, do it but don't look down on other people for doing it I've also heard like some people say well well I saved up enough money for this sort of thing good for you but I guarantee you there's a period in your life to where if this had happened at that point in time you had been screwed I know there's been plenty of those periods in my life because I've been screwed plenty of times and not in the fun way shockingly very little of the fun way so loosen up also, with the people who keep saying stuff like, you know, only the old are dying, so it's okay for me to go out. 
First off, it's not true. Especially in Georgia, they're finding out that more and more younger people are actually catching it and it's getting worse, as opposed to just catching it and getting a small bit of symptoms and going about your business. Um, in the South, we're getting it worse for the younger people, but even if that wasn't true, you're still bringing it home to the older people. I'm sorry, do your grandparents, do your parents not mean anything to you? I think, like, what is it? Like, not too long ago, we had footage of people still going on spring break because, dude, we're not going to ruin my spring break. You're an idiot. <laughs> I saw one guy who was literally saying on the beach, and I guarantee you can find this footage. He was talking about how there's no surfaces on the beach, so everything's going to be fine. <laughs> Seriously. He doesn't understand that you, you know, breathing spreads it. No, no, there's no surfaces, so it's fine. So basically, you know, that's the cure to everything. Just don't have surfaces. Dumb shit. Excuse the language. Uh, I'm not editing it either because, what, 20 people are going to watch this? So it doesn't really matter. So that's pretty much it, though. Just be smart and actually care. And, oh, and for the people who are saying, well, the older people would gladly give their lives for the economy. You suck. The economy will heal. You'll never hit a point to where you cannot rebuild. Things change. Some businesses might not come back, and that's sad. But you can never get that grandparent back. You can never get that parent back. That's the true commodity that people need to worry about, and that's people. Because you can't replace them. There's no way to get a new one. You can't just go to the store and get a new nanny or gram gram or whatever you call them, a pawpaw. You can't replace that. So you people who are saying that, you suck. So that's pretty much it. Just a short message. Um, things are going to get better. But we got to work to make it better. And we got to build each other up. Unless they're one of the people I just said that suck, then they need to be told they suck. Don't hurt them. Just say, hey, you suck. That's about it. I hope you're all safe. Hope you're all taking care. And we're going to continue to put out videos. Um, I, no, I was in like a video thing the other day. I didn't stay long. Um, I had to get off. But it was like a little group chat for like influencers and stuff. And we are not an influencer by any means. Honestly, even if we got big, I don't see us as an influencer because I, I do fart and dick jokes. I'm not entirely sure who I'm influencing with that. But the, the we were asked what our message was for our channel, and Sherry said just entertainment, and somebody interrupted. And I'm sure I'm not bashing on the guy in the least. Actually, I thought he was cool. I kind of wanted to hang out with him, but he says it can't just be entertainment. In times like this, I disagree, because I want you to just go out and find something that's just entertainment, and don't go out as in leave your house. I mean, go out as in go online. Go into your books. Go into your movies. Just find something that's fun. Just something to disconnect for a little bit. Um, I've been watching a bunch of uh, video channel called How Ridiculous. Is uh, some Australian dudes dropping things from high places onto stuff. I've been watching that for hours. I can't get enough of it. Honestly, it's kind of weird. I'm always like, well, what are they going to drop next? It's literally just large objects falling on other objects or heavy objects falling on large objects. And I can't get enough. And it helps me not to think about it. So if you can find that thing for you, watch it. Disconnect for a minute. Don't stay locked in on the news. Stay informed, but don't stay in so much that it freaks you out. The news' job is to draw you in. That's what they're supposed to do. They're not evil for doing that. Now, if they're giving you misinformation, that's evil. But the whole idea is to draw you in. That's their business model. It's your job to disconnect. So if you're being freaked out by the news, that's on you. You bought the ticket for that. All you have to do, change the channel. Pick up a book that you enjoy. Read a comic. I love comics. If you've never read a comic, now is the best time because they're all digital and you can find them. And when everything gets back up again, Go to your local comic book store. Pick up some stuff, because I'm telling you, there are great reads in there that you don't know about. Um, watch some movies. Watch old comedy shows. Watch old TV shows. Whatever you got to do.
to get your mind in a positive place. Uh, watch some of our old videos. I, I promise you there's nothing of any particular value as far as messages go in our old videos. Because honestly, I'd rather just entertain. But I guess this one video actually has a message. And I'm proud to say this message. <laughs> Tongue tied in. I'm not editing it because I'm lazy. But I'm proud to say this message. And that's just simply take care of each other. And don't freak out. Do what you need to do. Stay informed. But don't panic. Because that's the one thing that can screw us over. Is if we panic. And if you don't believe me, go to your local supermarket. Look in the toilet aisle. Or the toilet paper aisle. It'd be great if there was just an aisle of toilets. But look in the toilet paper aisle. That is pure panic. Because we were in no danger of running out of toilet paper. Until a bunch of idiots panicked. Oh, and a few horrible people tried to stockpile a bunch of it then sell it online you people suck there's a special place in hell for you so that's pretty much it um i hope you guys are doing well i'm not putting any like end video or beginning video for this it's just a little me to you and i'll talk to you soon have a good one